Hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be doing the famous fizz buzz uh, question which states that if a number is divisible by 3 we should print out fizz instead of the number. If the number is divisible by 5 we should print out 5 instead of the number and if the number is divisible by 3 and 5 then we should print out fizz buzz. This tutorial is going to be done in C++ and it's going to look something like this. So I just have a simple console application which displays a text to, to the user to please enter the amount of numbers. So I just want to print out 50 numbers. I'll, I'll press enter and there you see it. My application runs. In the place of 3 I have first. In the place of 5 I have buzz. And in the place of where a number is divisible by 3 and 5 I have first buzz. And the program executes nicely. So with that being said, let's get started. So I just have here a basic C++ console application that we're going to use and build upon. So I'm just going to get rid of these comments and we're going to do everything in our main function. I'll delete that out for now and let's get started. And before we move any further guys, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that we can grow this channel together and I can make more awesome videos for you guys. So the first thing we're going to need is a variable to store the number uh, or the amount of numbers that our user is going to give us. So we can just say int and, and we'll initialize this to zero and close that off. The next thing we want to do is output a text to the user and we can do that by saying std colon colon c out. And then we can just type in, please enter the amount of numbers. Or you could write whatever you want. We'll close that off. Then obviously we need to store this in our variable. So we can store it in our variable n. Let's just change this to num, just so that it makes more sense. And what we're going to do now, we want to loop through this amount of numbers and then display something in there. So what we need is a for loop. So in order to get the structure of a for loop, all you need to do is type 4 and hit tab twice and it does it for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to say int i is equal to 1 because we want to start from and then we're going to say i is less than n and we're just going to take this out and then we're going to say i plus plus. Sorry it's not n, we change it to num and we'll just say i is less than or equal to num. Okay, cool. So we got our for loop structure. The next thing we're going to do is the functionality of our, of the purpose of our application. Uh, and the way we're going to do it today is we're going to just use a simple if and else statement. Uh, but you could use a switch statement if you like. And the reason that I'm going to do it this way now, I'm going to do the check first to see whether the numbers are divisible by 3 and 5. Then I'm going to do the check to see if it's divisible by 5 and lastly if it's divisible by 3. The reason I'm doing that which I'll explain to you in a bit. So what we're going to say is if i is divisible by 3 and there's no remainder. So that's how you do it. Okay, This percentage sign means that a number must be divisible and it returns the remainder. Then we're going to say and and if i modulus 5 that means if i if the number is divisible by 5 and there is no remainder then we want to do something and what we want to do is we want to print out to the console first buzz and we just want to leave um, leave a line and close that off then what we want to do is we want to check now else if i modulus 5 if i is if the number is divisible by 5 with no remainder then what we want to do we want to print out to the console buzz and once again we'll leave a line close that off lastly we want to check if if the number is divisible by 3 and there is no remainder we want to output to the console we want to say fizz and we'll leave a line lastly we want to say else if the number is not divisible by 3 and 5 if the number is not divisible by 5 with no remainder if the number is not divisible by 3 with no remainder then we just want to print out the number so we can just say std c out and we can just print out the number to the console and we'll also just leave a line and close that off 
So this should be all the code we need. Let's run this and test it out. We can just hit play. And there you see it. It says, please enter the amount of numbers. Uh, I'm just going to say 50 and I'm going to hit enter. And there you see it. In the place of 3, we have fuzz. In the place of 5, we have buzz. 6 fuzz. 9 fuzz. 10 buzz. 11, then 12 fuzz. 13, 14, and then 15. Because it's divisible by 3 and 5, it prints out fuzz buzz. And if you go down the list, we know that everything is working fine because we can check 15. 30 should be fuzz buzz. And 45 should be fuzz buzz as well. That's just, that's just a quick way to do a test without writing any unit test. So what I want to explain to you guys, um, the reason that I did the check first for 3 and 5 is that because when the if statement, when it comes here, if it's divisible by, if we did it the other way and just checked for 3, if it was divisible by 3, it would just break here and, and come out of this and go back into the for loop. So it wouldn't check, it wouldn't go down to the next else if, it wouldn't go down to the last one which would have been checking for the 3 and for the 5. So that's the reason I did it this way. But you guys could do a switch statement and then I'm sure that check for the 3 first, check for the 5 and then lastly check for the 3 and 5. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.